When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and author, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this on YouTube. If you go to the search bar and type in Take Your Life Back Today show. Peace in the midst of the storm of life. Friends, have you ever been... In a hurricane, I know I have in a few. Living on the East Coast, I sure you have. In the center of the hurricane, there's something called the eye of the storm, where it's very calm and peaceful. All around, there's chaos. Winds blowing up to 100 miles per hour, debris flying left and right, danger everywhere around you. But as long as you're in the eye of the storm, it's as calm and peaceful as can be. In life, my friends, there will be times when it seems like everything is out of control, like you're in the midst of a hurricane. Challenges, adversities, and stress will come. But just like the eye of the storm, in the midst of the difficulty, there is a place of peace where you can go. The scripture calls it the peace that passes all understanding. That means you'll have peace when you should be upset. You'll have peace when you really should be stressed out. Friends, the disciples were so afraid, so distraught, that they ran in to Jesus and said, Jesus, wake up. We're all about to die. Jesus got up and simply spoke to the storm. He said, peace, be still. Instantly, everything calmed down. Jesus was in the storm, but he didn't let the storm get to him. He knew his authority. He was in the eye of that storm. He knew who he was. He knew his power wasn't based on circumstances. He wasn't going to fret because he was in faith. He stayed in peace and brought peace to the situation at that time. Now, my friends, if you get upset and bend out of shape every time things go, uh, they don't go your way, how are you going to bring peace to the situation? See, peace is not the absence of trouble. Peace is not getting rid of all your enemies, overcoming all your challenges, 
or paying off all your uh, bills. Now, there, there can be trouble, conflict, and challenges all around you on the outside. But real peace is trusting God enough to not, uh, not to allow it to get on the inside. I read about uh, this contest where whoever painted the picture that displayed peace in the greatest, most compelling way would win the prize. There were all of these paintings of very beautiful, peaceful uh, sceneries. The sun setting over an ocean, palm trees blowing in the wind, so very peaceful. There was a, past, a pasture scene uh, with these rolling, lush green hills, a white picket fence, and a beautiful lake in the background. One was in the winter scene with the fresh snow and small log cabin. You could see the fireplace through the window, the majestic mountains in the background. It looked so warm. It looked so cozy. But the painting that won first prize was a picture of a huge storm with lightning flash across the straw, uh, sky, rain coming down, and wind blowing the trees. It looked just the opposite of peace. But over in the corner, in the uh, cleft of the rock, was a bird in her nest tucked away. Underneath her outstretched wings were six of her baby birds. In the midst of this huge storm, they were just sitting there as just as calm and peaceful as peaceful can be. Remember, peace is not the absence of trouble. Peace is knowing that God is right there with you in the midst of all your troubles. In, in the Psalms, it talks about how God will cover us with his wings. He will hide us in the rock. What am I saying, you might be asking? Don't wait for all your problems to resolve and then decide to quit worrying. No, decide to trust God no matter what is happening around you. Find uh, the place of peace and make up your mind that you're going to have peace right in the midst of the storm at that particular time. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And that's in John 4, 14, 27. And remember John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, his only son. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone in life can change their day, can change their life, and it can change your day in life as well. Ride out the storm, be at peace, turn to God. God will guide and direct you through any troubles in your life. And may God bless each and may God bless everyone here on earth. Take good care and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.